Welcome friends, welcome back to the kitchen. So I recently made some vegetable stock and I thought today we would make a soup with it. So I've got a heavy bottom pot here um, on sort of a medium high heat. I'm gonna put a little bit of oil in the bottom of the pan and just heat that up. And once the oil is hot, I'm gonna throw in some cumin. And we just wanna toast the cumin a little bit in the oil just until it's fragrant which takes no time at all. You'll start to get a really nutty smell as soon as it's ready. So into this pot, I'm gonna put some diced onion and diced bell pepper. Um, any color of bell pepper that you like, any one that suits your fancy, whatever you've got in your fridge. And I just wanna stir that around and fry that off until the onions are translucent. Now, of course, the recipe for this vegetable stock is elsewhere on our channel and I'll try to uh, link to it above and below. I'm also gonna put in uh, a little bit of crushed garlic in here at the same time. Just get that cooking as well. Next in is some oregano, Mexican oregano if you can get it. Um, if you can't use regular oregano, Summer savory works really good in this, or, um, or just savory works well as well. Stir that in and just get all of those flavors coming together. A Little bit of freshly ground black pepper and some salt. The next thing you want to put in is some dried chili powder. Now I have um, dry chipotle chili powder and I'm only going to put in about half of what I have in the recipe. And the reason for that is I remembered once I got out here, we've got this great taco seasoning mix um, that we make up. Recipe is elsewhere on the channel. I'll try to remember to link to it. So I'm going to put some of that in because I really like this meld of flavors. So we put that in stir it in and start throwing in the next ingredients. I've got a can of Rotel. I'm gonna put that in next. Uh, if you can't get Rotel, just use diced tomatoes. Throw in diced tomatoes and then maybe dice up a fresh jalapeno pepper to put in and that'll get you to sort of mostly the same place. Even a can or uh, some of a jar of salsa. If you have salsa, be about the same in this soup. Next in are beans. Now, uh, you could put in all black beans or you could mix it up and put in a bunch of different beans. I like different beans because they all bring a different flavor and a different texture. So I'm doing two cans of black beans and one can of black eyed peas. Um, but pinto beans or um, navy beans, all of those things would work really well in this. Just kind of stir that together, start to bring the flavors together and make sure that nothing is sticking to the bottom of the stock pot. Next, I've got uh, frozen corn. Frozen corn, um, you know what, hominy. If you wanted to put in a can of hominy instead of the frozen corn, uh, that would be great as well. This, this really is a super simple soup that you can substitute almost anything that you want within the sort of flavor structure. Like I always say, make it your own. Now, last in is the vegetable stock. This is our really flavorful vegetable stock. Take a look at that color, absolutely amazing. If you wanted to, you could use beef stock, you could use chicken stock, um, you could put in pork stock if you wanted to. You could use a little bit of beer if you wanted to. Uh, sort of drive the flavors in a direction that you want to go. I've got this on a medium low heat and I'm just going to put the cover on it sort of loosely and let it go for about a half an hour before we serve it. Hey Jules. Hey Glenn. Hey friends. I thought we were, it doesn't look like, it smells like chili but it looks like soup. Yes. Now I'm confused. Um, <laughs> so at this point this is vegan or vegetarian bean soup but it's got oh, those it's got, got that smells it's got that chili overtone doesn't it so get some spoons there oh, yeah um pretty thick and chunky which is good okay just tiny spoons cool. okay so there's um there is the chipotle chili powder in here there's a little bit of the taco seasoning that we make okay cumin 
it's just gonna be physically hot right now. I see corn. Mm -hmm. Is it safe? Is it too hot? It's warm, but it's not too hot. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Mm hmm. So now, when I say it's vegan or vegetarian, and I know a lot of people are gonna, you know, and I'm one of those people. I'll put my hand up. But there's a whole lot of flavor in here. Like it's mm -hmm. it's packed with flavor. It's so packed with flavor that you wouldn't notice that it's not made with chicken stock or beef stock. Yeah. Like there's there's a, so much going on in here. And if you wanted to keep it vegan vegetarian and add some creaminess to it, I've got some. Uh, mm -hmm. I've got some avocado here, so we could slice up some avocado and put sides. it in. Yeah. Yeah, because if you were veg vegetarian, you could add some cheeses or or sour yeah. cream. But if you wanted to stick vegan. That's the way to go. Yeah. So. Yeah. Uh, Thank you. I think that'll add it's sort of like creaminess, the creamy mouthfeel. And of course, if you if you're not vegan or vegetarian and you, and you don't care about that, you could add sour cream. You could add cheese. Um, you could <clears throat> add like shredded rotisserie chicken. You know the like yeah. the like that <clears throat> cooked shredded rotisserie. You could put that in here, and that would work in. I don't it. think you need to though. I don't think you need to either, it's but good. you can put it in and, and work it in. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm. Yeah. But how's that creamy mouth feel? No. I gotta really ask a really weird question. Yep. I've never had cooked avocado, I don't think. It's always something we add on later. Or mush in a gua guacamole. I've or... seen cooked avocado. I've seen avocado halved. Cooked with an egg in the middle, where this, where this, the okay. pit usually is. I'm yeah. just wondering how it would be if, like, there was avocado. Like, how much of its texture does it lose? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. If you cook with avocado <laughs> and cook avocado in soups, leave us a message down below and let I us know. I have no idea. So this is a very versatile soup. Um, it's great with our um, vegetable stock base. Mm-hmm. But like I said earlier in the video, you could make it with any stock. You don't need to make your own, but making your own certainly uh, goes a long way to making a great soup. In that case, my friends, thanks for stopping by. See, See you again soon. <laughs>